Systems Manager is Cisco Meraki's cloud-based enterprise mobility management tool. This covers mobile device management, mobile application management, mobile content management, and mobile identity management. What this means to you is Systems Manager is going to give you a lot of granular control over what's happening with the devices you manage. When you first begin trying to set up Meraki Systems Manager, it could seem intimidating at first because there is a lot of powerful things you can do to your managed devices. But don't worry, this quick start guide will help you learn the basics of Systems Manager so you can go through a smooth deployment. In this specific video, we will cover the basic core concepts of Meraki Systems Manager. If you want to know more about any specific topic, please check out our detailed guides and videos on documentation.meraki.com sm. Documentation.meraki.com sm is our hub for guides and videos to cover all the specific things you need to learn to master Meraki Systems Manager. One of the biggest advantages of Meraki Systems Manager is the ability to enroll and manage so many different operating systems. As of spring 2017, here are all the operating systems that can be enrolled into Meraki Systems Manager. Different operating systems may have different enrollment methods into Meraki Systems Manager. To make this simple, you can go to Systems Manager, Add Devices, and then see the steps to enroll each operating system. If this is your first time using an enterprise mobility management solution, don't feel overwhelmed by this. Instead, check out documentation.meraki.com sm slash device underscore enrollment. As you go through your device enrollments, you may need to learn more about a specific device or a specific operating system that's enrolling. For example, Android devices. For Android, there's two main ways you can be enrolled. If the devices are not owned by your organization, you will likely want to use the BYOD or bring your own device enrollment method. In the Android BYOD enrollment method, the devices utilize containerization to separate the work data from the pre-existing personal data. For tighter control, there's also the device owner enrollment. When the Android device is enrolled via device owner enrollment, the device's entire storage becomes the work container. This allows your Meraki dashboard to fully control the apps and restrictions on the device. Another quick example of how some details about your enrollment may differ between operating systems is with Apple devices. For Apple devices, you are required to create what's called an Apple Push Notification Service Token before you can enroll any devices. It sounds like a big name, but don't worry. It's very easy to do, and there's great documentation to help you along the way. For Apple devices, you can also use some optional programs that Apple builds and integrate them with Meraki Systems Manager to get some really awesome functionality, like the Device Enrollment Program, which allows devices to be pulled out of the box for the very first time and automatically enroll into Meraki Systems Manager. You can use the Apple Volume Purchase Program to purchase apps on a mass scale and always maintain ownership of the apps you purchase. If you're a school, you may also want to use Apple School Manager and Shared iPad. You can also use Apple Configurator to enroll and supervise iOS devices. We cannot cover the details of every single thing in one video, so feel free to search for whatever you need to learn more about in documentation.meraki.com. There we have great documentation to walk you through whatever you need. These documents include detailed steps, screenshots, and even additional videos to help you along the way. So you never have to feel like you're lost during your initial deployment of Meraki Systems Manager. Apps. Of course, apps are an important part of an EMM solution. This is easy for Meraki Systems Manager. You can configure the apps that you want your devices to have from Systems Manager Apps page. For additional information, on installing apps on your devices, please check out the apps and software documentation. Profiles. From the Systems Manager settings page, you can configure device settings and profiles. This allows you to configure things like restrictions, email accounts via ActiveSync, passcode and password policies, VPN settings, Wi-Fi settings, and so much more. For additional information on installing profiles on your devices, please check out the Profile and Settings Guide. Tags. 
Tags are a super important fundamental feature of Meraki Systems Manager. And for a first timer, it may seem confusing at first, but I'm gonna break it down for you so you can understand it really easily. You can tag devices with any tag name you want, like employee. And then you can tag apps and profiles with the same employee tag. Tags link devices, apps, and profiles together. This allows you to only install apps and profiles on the devices that you want. This is very powerful and I hope that you can start to imagine tagging different groups of devices with the apps and profiles that are important for those end users. That way, a student device could have tighter restrictions and different apps than an employee device. As a follow-up to tags, you can also create security policies. There's a lot of security policies that you can check your devices for, such as if a device has antivirus running, if it has a certain app installed, if a device is jailbroken or rooted, and so much more. For this example, the security policy simply checks if the device has checked into dashboard at least every 30 minutes. Now, when we look at the devices enrolled in this network, there's that same 30 minute check-in security policy when the device is checking into Meraki Systems Manager every 30 minutes, this policy is green, and therefore it's compliant with this policy. However, when the device has been offline for more than 30 minutes, this security policy turns red, indicating that this device is now failing the security policy. What makes security policies so useful is now you can use this security policy compliance status as a dynamic tag. So if a device is compliant with the security policy, a profile can be added. And if a device is failing a security policy, a profile can be removed. Furthermore, you can take this same security policy and set up email alerts based on the security policy status. So whenever a device fails a security policy, you and your Meraki administrators can get an email alert sent to you. Geofencing works in a very similar way to security policies. For geofencing, you build a geofence boundary in dashboard, like this one, and then the device will report if it is violating or if it is compliant with this geofence boundary. And just like security policies dynamic tag, you can use the geofence tag to add and remove a profile based on the device's location. Using tags, security policies, and geofence policies together can give you some really powerful and robust logic checks. In this example, you can see the employee profile will only install on devices with the employee tag when it is compliant with the security policy and also within the geofence. This will allow the profile to be added and removed throughout the day based on the device's security policy and geofence policy status. This was just a brief video to show you the core concepts of Meraki Systems Manager. To take a deeper dive into any of these subjects, please go to documentation.meraki.com sm. To get started with your instant 30-day trial, head to meraki.cisco.com sm.